Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Shivy Boy back on the channel, and we are back once again on Demolition Derby 3. So, um, when I'm recording this is 10.51 a.m., Thursday, the 21st of November. Um, and you might be wondering, if you look up in the corner, you might be thinking to yourself, where the heck did your $6 million go? Um, so, funny story, not exactly, but Mike, um... He gave me an APK file so that I could get some of these cars early. Well, all of these cars early. The problem is, is that when I installed the APK file, it set me back to square one in terms of everything. Um, because he sent it to me, I believe it was Tuesday, so the 19th of November. And I was like, I was like, you know what? In the in my head, I was thinking to myself, this really sucks because I don't want to lose all my progress. I didn't know. Oh, I I vaguely figured I was going to lose all my progress, but I was like, okay, you know. And, and in my head, I'm like, I am getting kind of bored of having all the money, you know, and spending it and it not going down a ton and now I'm realizing that that's kind of a blessing because of the fact that you know the new cars came in the new map is in obviously but I don't have a ton of money now and I've literally been grinding over the past like two days to get the truck back the Jag the both of these cars this car the Impaler I don't have the Enterprise back yet. I just bought the Lamborghini back and customized it back to where I had it. Actually, no, I just bought this car back and did it up the way I had it, pretty sure. You know, I don't have, like, half of the cars. Literally, I have less than half the cars because my budget is just so low. Um, oh, and another thing. Uh, really quick, I know you guys have probably heard about that COPPA garbage. You know, the um, child... Uh, online Privacy Protection Act or whatever. And the game was kind of hit. You may notice in the corner with the currency, the credits, it's not a, it's not a beer mug anymore. Um, beer Money Games, Mike had to take the beer mug off. And that's living proof. Because, you know... That's just how it is, because the government feels the need to go, oh yeah, well, you know, your stuff has kid players in it, right? Your game has kid players? Well, guess what? Beer game, or a beer mug? Nope. Can't do that garbage. Freaking, like, I, I don't get it. People are really dumb. So, yeah. No, but anyways, I've been grinding. I'm trying to get all my cars back. Um... So over the next few days after this, uh, these couple of videos come out, I'm going to keep grinding, get all my cars back, and then build up a bit of a cushion as much as I can for the next set of cars. Because these three cars, I'm guessing, were released over like the last three weeks that we didn't have an update. But because of all this COPPA garbage, you know, the new builds weren't allowed to be used. So what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to start off with the Zagato. Um, because it's the cheapest one here. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a minute, because... The engine, the V8 Monster Race Motor, the Twin Turbo, Stage 1 V8. I don't real. I've never really used this Stage 1 V8, not very often. Um, I do like it, but I think I'm just going to keep with the forced induction, because those hater pipes don't really look great on a vet. You know, nitrous. I mean, the money's already half gone, right? Like, you know, you guys might be like, oh, you know, you're, you're overreacting. No, the money literally just flies by, especially when I do this. So, um, but no, so this is the Zagato. This is based on the C3 Corvette. Uh, the 69 Corvette and DD2 came back, and this is what, um, what it looks like now. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the side pipes. I asked Mike if we could get the side pipes back from um, Street Racing, 
I'm sorry, Circuit Street Racing and from the Zagato on DD2. He said that he would try to look into it as far as I recall. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah. So, and then go to the visuals. I'm going to paint it up like my grandmother's car because why the crap not? You know what I mean? Um, speed faster. I don't know. Fireball. <laughs> nice. Motor. That's a turbocharger. We're not using a turbo. Demolition Derby. You know what? Why not? And the cool thing is, is this car has T-tops. So that's really cool. Um, and then there's new wheel options. Let's let's look at those and see. So you got the um, so you got these wheels, which are very C3 Corvette. You got these. You got these, which are off of the Dodge, or the excuse me, the Stormer Laguna, which is the 69 Charger Daytona that was called the Stinger Classic in DD2, but because we have the um, Stinger as the Barracuda in this game, they had to make a bit of a sacrifice, which I am not mad about. So, this this looks very much Plymouth Superbird with the wing, but Dodge Daytona everywhere else, especially the taillights, obviously, and the hood, or the fender blisters and everything, which honestly don't look that bad. And then you got what looks to be a Ford GT. People keep saying it's an 06 GT. But Mike said they had to take a bit of creative liberty, so I think it's, I feel like it's a mix between the 06 to or 04 to 06 GT and the GT40. So there you go. Um, put the stock wheels back on. Paint the wheels. I think I'm gonna go. I don't know. I I kind of like how they are. I don't like that like brushed nickel kind of well, I say nickel I don't know I don't know what what finish they are but I don't really like those so we're gonna go with like the brushed aluminum look and then we're gonna go here for a race I know I've been talking for seven minutes and I bought this track I have tried it once or twice um don't get mad at me but I don't know what the rest of the map looks like so without further ado let us get into it. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to unplug my charger because that's what caused this problem. So you got everybody rocking a Zagato here. Or what looks like everybody. This thing sounds monstrous, by the way. I just wish the side exit exhaust were still a thing. Because those are freaking awesome. When you go around here, do not fall into that viaduct. Trust me. You will not be able to get back out if you do. Or if you can, it's going to be a bit hairy. So, yeah. Mm. Stupid stop sign. Just cost me the entire race almost. Yeah, no. I don't think you can just wall ride it either. It doesn't work that way. No, and I found a funny glitch. Um, I was driving this car yesterday in free roam mode, or in free ride basically, and uh, the bumper falls off, and for a short period of time, you can actually hit the brake lights, and the brake lights will physically work with the rear bumper detached because they're housed in the bumper. It's kind of funny, actually. Yeah, don't ride that because it will throw you out of the map. Don't ride that completely because it will throw you out of the map. Get off of me, Garth. God. I mean, you guys know me. I kind of like to cut corners a little bit. I really do, though, want to see how fast this car can get because... I, in the teaser that we got with this car, um, there was a teaser for this that was on Discord. I don't think I did a video on it, um, but, no, I didn't do a video on it, that's right. 
No, but this car can do 180 miles an hour. So I want to test that theory. I won that 3,200 and or I'm sorry. Wait, what? No, 3,780 bucks. I'm up to 32,890. So it's not horrible. Um, concrete jungle is 50 grand. Downtown and the canyon are both 50 grand. Oh, shoot. Hold on. No, I didn't want to do that. Dumb thing. So this is what the map looks like. This thing is huge. This is double the size of Del Mar. Like, this map is massive. Well, check that out. Oh, can we clear it? Holy crap, we just cleared a building. I think that still sounds like dirt, but I don't know. I want to see how fast this thing can actually get on the highway, especially. Um, why the frame rate is lagging, I don't know. What the heck? Oh, it says I'm low on space. Well, that sucks. Which is garbage because it's technically not low on space, but whatever. Now this map is insane. It's it's massive, and I absolutely adore it for that. How? Oh God! Can I actually make it? I just jumped over. That's an invisible wall. Mike, is that wall supposed to be there? Or are you just not supposed to take it at that high of a speed? <laughs> because if not, well, that's my fault. But who knows? Um, well, I mean, Mike knows, obviously, but yeah. No, this is really cool. The fact that you can drive under the freaking highway. And there should be an on-ramp here somewhere. This is cool because it's identical to... Like, um... I say identical, it's pretty close to... Um, the kind of thing that we got in DD2 with the subway, you know, and the train tracks and everything, so. The road's closed off. What is, what is the closed off road supposed to be? I wonder. Wait. Is that the on-ramp? Yeah, it is. Okay. Why is it lagging so bad? I'm assuming it's because of low, um, space, but who knows. I want to see how fast this will go. Uh, there's freaking traffic on the highway. That's great. Now look at this. This is a place where you can test your top speed here. This is great. It's doing at least 150. Oh god. Yeah, it's going to die. Okay, um, <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. Uh, no, that did not work at all. All right, done. But no, my, my brother Robert, he, um, he went into this and he said it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, no, I will do a video or another video with this car just kind of free roaming probably later today and see what you guys think. 140 again. Okay, I just launched a freaking traffic car in the air. That wasn't supposed to happen, I don't think. Come on, 150. I've seen it do 180, so I know I can do that. And it's gonna die. Come on. Come on. On the wheels. Come on, game. No! Doggone it. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, it's one way to do it, I guess. Um, but no, I really like this. I think this is great. Like, Mike, I wonder where all, like, the coin boxes and stuff are at. Because uh, this world is huge. Like I said, it's the same as, like, a DD2 size map. So it's freaking massive. 
What is this? Oh, that's just the overpass. That's kind of most wanted carbon vibes right there. That's kind of cool. And you got this tunnel, which I'm wondering if this holds any significance. This is major carbon vibes for me anyway. Um, this is really great, honestly. Um, Dude, we could do speed runs on this. Yeah, no, see the, the rear bumper falls off. I know, I'm just, oh no, I ripped the wheel off of this car. Poor Corvette. <laughs> I say that I like this car and what do I do? I absolutely annihilate it. Oh my. But it's really cool, you know what I mean? It's it's a cool car, the map is friggin' huge, it's awesome. Um, it's gonna be hard to navigate your way through this map though, with how big it is. What did I just lose? I don't know what I lost. I didn't lose a door. Maybe I lost my hood? Yeah, that's it, I lost the hood, okay. And then you got this toxic waste dump area, which is kind of cool. If I can get there. Well, I say waste dump, it's more like a nuclear power plant. <laughs> Did I say waste dump? No, it's actually a power plant. Freaking idiot. <laughs> I know. Called it a waste dump, it's not. Well, so it does that. And then like it leaks fumes out of it, which is kind of cool. See, so that's kind of cool. That that animation, you know, people may be like, oh, you know, it's it's a really cheesy animation, and like the splatters are really cartoony, but it's still cool. So, and they they actually fade out. Um, but yeah, no. Now that I've lost both wheels in that, um, I don't know. You know, what did you guys think of the car? I mean, we really didn't do much with it. Um, other than just dink around and race and me rambling on for like five minutes about Kappa and all that garbage, but, um, yeah, no, did you guys like it? Did you guys want to see more? I, I will explore more of Concrete Jungle, I promise. I'll do a video exploring it tomorrow. I wonder what that was all about. Um, or tomorrow. I say tomorrow, it'll be later today. I'll upload this and then, um, I'll record another video on the new map and everything um just because i really like the way it's set up i like the fact that it's this giant map you know it's the size of a dd2 map and actually it's funny because mike um says he's bringing back the winter map from dd2 i think i already said that but i could be wrong my memory is kind of fried as of recently especially with all the garbage going on um with, you know, the government and everything gonna shut people down because they are power hungry? I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. I'm not here to get into politics, but when you screw with people that did nothing wrong to you, that's when I draw the line because I didn't screw with YouTube. I didn't look at them and say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna break your rules. No. I have tried within my power to stay, you know, within the YouTube guidelines, you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, no, what do you guys think? you guys like the new map? I certainly do. Uh, can we go in here? No, that's not a door. That's a window. That is a window. I actually really like this Corvette though. I think it's, I think it looks great. Um, I really do like it. But, cause I know that there's like those coin, or the coin boxes, there's like keys and stuff around underground and whatnot so we'll see where those are at um when we go fully in depth into this because like i said it is a giant freaking map it is no small feat to go through and be like oh yeah you know it's, it's just a big map right no it's, it's massive it's not even big it's gigantic so yeah no like i said new map new cars um if you guys want, I can take the other cars out for a joyride on the new map. 
just for the heck of it, you know, kind of stock, see what their impressions are. Um, and yeah, so, but if you guys did enjoy this, oh, and by the way, I will be doing a cop chase with this car, probably in a separate video through the map and just try to trigger as many cops as I can, but yeah, no, oof. Ah, boy. The car seems to have died. <laughs> it's kind of crumpled and broken. But yeah, no, what do you guys think? Uh, did you guys enjoy it? If you did, let me know. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of the map and everything. Because like I said, it's freaking cool. Speed limit is 55. We're doing, you know, 80 plus. <laughs> we're doing 150 earlier. Screw your 55. I don't want that. You know, we're almost doing triple, triple that speed. So, but yeah, no, if you guys did enjoy it, let me know. Um, and if this is your... Uh, my first video that you are seeing from me, if you guys are brand new, keep a lock on the channel, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, every YouTuber says it, but we kind of have to, otherwise, you know, we don't really grow. People, they just kind of forget to do that stuff. So, if you guys did enjoy it, let me know, and I'll catch you down the road. This is Chevy Boy signing out. Peace, y'all.